DIY Guru. And also I would like to welcome you for all for the course on the basic understanding of electrical vehicle. So as part of this course, first we'll go with the basics of the electrical engineering. Uh, in today's session, we'll cover the Ohm's law and the voltage and current analogy with water. So just to understand the what is voltage, what is current and what is resistance. So Ohm's law. So when you go for solving an LE electrical circuit uh, to find any quantity, so you must know the Ohm's law. So by the Ohm's law, you can find the quantity, any quantity. So here the Ohm's law is named after a scientist, George Ohm, uh, which defines the relation among the current, voltage and the resistance. So these voltage, current and resistance are the basic electrical units that we work with in our circuits. So the Ohm's law is applied to both the alternating and the direct currents. So where the alternating current is nothing but it is the alternating in nature, like it changes with respect to the time, whereas the direct current is fixed or it is constant throughout the time period. So it will not change with respect to the time. So this is the basic difference between the AC and DC. Uh, in the later course, you will have the good command on this, what is AC, what is DC. So as of now, you just remember the AC and DC are nothing but AC is changes with respect to time, and DC is fixed. Now Ohm's law, the statement. So Ohm's law states that the current flowing through the conductor is directly proportional to the voltage. So here it is the explanation. So let us take a conductor. You can see in the picture there is a conductor. As conductor has the two terminals, these two terminals we are providing a potential difference that is voltage V. Because of this potential difference, there is a flow in the current, there is a flow, current flow in the conductor. So the amount of current flow is directly proportional to the potential difference applied across its terminals. Here the, uh, the temperature and other quantities, physical quantities are remains constant. So if you want to mathematically show the Ohm's law, here the current I is directly proportional to V. If you remove this proportionality, so a proportionality constant will come here. So that is the resistance. Uh, we, so finally we can write it as I is equal to V by R or V is equal to IR. Where V is the voltage, I is the current, R is the resistance. So this is the statement like when a voltage is applied across the two terminals because of this voltage difference or potential difference there is a flow in the current. So this current flow is directly proportional to the potential difference applied across its terminals. Now, now we, we are talking about the voltage, current and resistance. So we just uh, will go through what is voltage, what is current, what is resistance. So here voltage is nothing but it is an energy or force required to move the charge from one point to another point. Like so as we know that for uh, when we connect this potential difference across the two terminals there is a, ch a charge which is acquired so that has to move from one point to other point so here the voltage will take that responsibility to move that charge from one place to another place okay so this is the energy the amount of energy required we call it as the voltage so the units for that are volts and it is measured by using the voltmeter and from the Ohm's law we can easily find the voltage where V is equal to IR. If you know the current flowing through the element and the resistance of the element, we can calculate the voltage across that element easily. V is equal to IR. Now coming to the current. Now, now we have started moving the charge from one point to other point. So now the all this charge particle starts moving. Once if you give the voltage now the flow the once the all the charge particle starts moving in one direction the flow of these charge particles we call it as the current okay the flow of charge we call it as the current so the units are amperes and it is measured by using the ammeter 
and we can calculate the ohms law from ohms law i is equal to v by r where v is the voltage across the element and r is the resistance of that element now we will go for the resistance so resistance is nothing but if you take any material or any metal every metal has its some resistance so the resistance is the measure of opposition to the current flow in an electrical circuit means the the amount of opposition offered in an electrical circuit we call it as the resistance it is measured in the ohms so this is the symbol for the ohm uh, you can see so now the resistance you can calculate by using the formula v is by i from the ohms law so all these quantities you can see now the voltage resistance and the current these three quantities are well explained by the ohms law if you know any of these quantities like if you know the voltage and current you can find the resistance if you know the resistance and current you can find the voltage if you know the resistance and voltage you can find the current so if you know any two quantities you can easily find the third quantity okay so here the resistance and the uh, the current both are inversely proportional like when you have the higher resistance there will be very low amount of current flowing through the circuit and if you have the very less resistance then we can say the more amount of current flowing through the circuit now here is the example uh, we have taken now the circuit has the the voltage and the car, uh, resistance so we need to find the current through this circuit as we know that just now we have saw what is the current equation from the ohms law i is equal to v by r we know the v and also we know the r we just substitute these values in this formula and we get the current value that is v 9 by 3 we get 3 so it is milliamperes because here the resistance is given in terms of kilo ohms we can we will get milliamperes because the resistance is in denominator when the denominator will go into the uh, like uh, this kilo ohms will go into the numerator it will become 10 to the power minus 3 so we get milliamperes now if this resistance is increase let us uh, consider if this 3 amperes will go into the 6 uh, i'm sorry this 3 kilo ohms goes into the 6 kilo ohms then what what is the like the current we will get so definitely we will get less than this 3 amperes because 9 by 6 we will get will which is like a 3 by 2 that is 1.5 milliamperes will get definitely it will be less than the 3 milliamperes now voltage and current analogy with water so this is just to understand the voltage and current phenomena uh, you can just neglect this you just uh, just to understand the understanding purpose only i have provided this uh, here you can see there is a water tank filled with water and you can see the pipe over there the storage of this water or the pressure of the water or the height of the water is resembles the voltage and the the water flowing through the pipe is current so when now here you can see this from this picture when the height of the water increases definitely the flow of water is increased right means when the voltage is increasing current is also increases now the resistance when there will be some like uh, restrictions of the water in the pipe right caused by the pipe like uh, if anything gets stuck in the pipe or if you have any other uh, materials in the pipe so they will stop the they will try to push the water back right or they will try to stop the water that is nothing but the resistance okay so from this uh, water analogy you can understand what is voltage what is current what is resistance okay so this is what about the voltage current and the resistance and the ohms law thank you uh if you have any queries you can reach out to the diy guru thank you